Arr, welcome back, everybody. So, uh, a couple of things. First of all, uh, let's go to the mech bay, because I've outfitted the uh, gauntlet. Now, we didn't have a lot of stuff, so I wasn't really sure how to go with this guy. I'm going to have a quick look at it. Um, so, yeah, this is kind of not how I wanted it, but not too bad at all. Uh, it needs some work. We need to get a bit more gear. I didn't have a lot of stuff I could have added to this guy, so... It's kind of working how it's working. So, got a pair of LBX-5s with a ton of slug ammo each. Now, the slug ammo gives us 20 rounds. Um, so, that these things can last pretty much for a really long match uh, at good range, 810 meters. It's fantastic. Um, now, they do have a minimum range of 90 meters. So, um, we've also got a pair of medium X-pulses to do some heavy hitting close in. Um, rounded up with a uh, an arrow tag. An AMS Mark II with a double load of ammo. So we've got 500 shots. Should be enough, I think, for what we're doing. A pair of Rocket Pack 15s or Rocket 15s. Uh, they're one shot, so if we get in close and we need to do a devastating strike on somebody, can sure as heck do that. Guardian ECM in here, uh, as well as an exchanger. The heat, uh, if we're frying everything, the heat sinking is not, I mean, it's okay. Um, the, the AMS will be the real uh, tester of the heat on this thing. Um, but we can always cycle a medium X-pulse X -pulse off and on, depending how far away from the enemy we are. So I think we'll be fine. Now, I left all the risk gear in the uh, um, cockpit. So we've got uh, plus one ev evasion ignore with the uh, risk fire control system, uh, which works, well, of course, with everything. Um, we get one guts and two tactics and five extra armor off of the uh, uh, regular risk um, cockpit and risk sensors are okay as well. They're not the best, but they're okay. You get stacking bonus at the four sensor checks, so we can spot enemies a little better. Um, and that's about it. We now it's just a regular XL engine, which is kind of I mean we can't change it out unfortunately. So if we lose the side, we lose the mech, but it's got full armor, so we should be okay. So that's the gauntlet. Now, everything else has remained the same. We kept everybody the same. Um, then you go right to the command center now because I, I want to try the, the high tide, the attack and defend mission at two and a half skulls. I don't know how we're going to do on this. Um, we've got a pair of tag barrages with the mechs we do have. So I'm thinking that they're probably going to uh, come into um, a critical role in this particular one. But we're going to go ahead and go ahead and do this one here. Uh, so we're against Nueva Castillo, which means as long as it's not the clans, we should be okay, I think. So we're going to go full salvage on this because we're going to risk it for the biscuit here. And I'm pulling out the trebuchet for this one. Uh, let's bring GV up in the order. And Witness can come in. And we're going to bring in the Talos, or the, sorry, the Gauntlet. We're going to give it to Witness. And yeah, uh, actually, I'm going to switch these two around, I think. Um, GV's got better gunnery. You know what? No, I want him on the flamer. I want him on the flamer, I think. Yeah, that extra 2% or whatever the extra gunnery is giving us isn't going to do that much on the gauntlet, but it sure as heck will on the uh, on the adder when we're in close. So let's, let's just deploy this and get it done. Okay, here we go. Looks like it's just us. Well, isn't that fantastic? So we've got a lance between us and the base and another lance looks like at the base and this is where we're defending and that's our extraction point I would imagine alright we've only got friendly turrets covering the base looks like we've got some mechs here though so rather than turrets we've got mechs which could be better could be I say catapult 3 with lower armor what do we got here so we got a line holder so we can hold the line griffin it's not too bad catapult 3 and another griffin okay not too bad oh we do have turrets as well heavy sniper uh, where are you here here we go point defense which could come in handy I guess thumper placement so we bet we have to watch out and what's the last one up here another thumper 
So we got two thumpers, heavy sniper turret. So if anything comes over the hill, it's going to get shot. And a point defense. That's actually pretty good, I imagine. So what we have to do is make sure we stay the hell away from the enemy. You hear me, GV? Yeah, you don't get... Don't get overzealous. Don't get into the, where the enemy mechs are. Because those thumpers cannot be expected to not hit you. You know how it goes. Okay, let's see how fast you are. That's actually pretty good for 55 tenna. Let's get into here. Okay. Arc light. You should have more than enough ammo for this, I think. That color's kind of, uh, remind me of blood in the snow here. Alright, uh, that's that one. Get the hell up there, buddy. You're always slow as hell. Alright, we'll see how it goes here. I'm not, uh, not sure what to expect here. So I think our defenders are more than capable of holding this base. Now I know I've said that in the past, that stupid centurion turning his back to the enemy. We almost lost the mission because of that. But I don't want to do a repeat of that mission. So I want to get in on their base as fast as possible and blow that thing up. Mortar technical, not fully armored. All right, let's get in and see if we can spot these enemies, uh, but not give them a chance to shoot back. Let's move into here. My big worry is their turrets. I don't know what their turrets are. Okay, we've got... Well, that's not good. Urban mech. Is that a rapier? Rapier. Pirate. A Bessie. Okay, well, we're not that worried. Blackjack, pirate. This is the one I'm worried about. We've got to shoot this guy. So chances to hit, pretty good with this thing. Gonna leave the rocket packs off for now until we need them. And firing. Okay, nice. There's more where that came from. Is that the risk, Irby? I really hope so. Because if it is, I'm taking those parts. Okay, well the rapier's got uh, laser AMS. I wonder if we can uh, smash that rapier. He's like right where I want to go. Although maybe not. Because it looks like, well I don't know, this, this rock here might actually provide some cover. Some of the enemy forces are hanging back, so they got a, a unit back there as well. Are our guys going to engage here? Oh, they are. I just didn't know if they were going to crest the hill and fire directly. Looks like they might. What's this guy? Jenner. Okay. GV, man, you're slow. What's up, what's up with that? Can we just get a shot on the urban map without anybody else seeing me? No? Okay, well, I'm going to go as far as I can. Let's get into here. I'm just outside their green circle, which I think is... Countermeasures? <coughs> Let's leave the barrage off. I'm, I'm going to want to keep that for when we need it the most. Let's just fire this. Ah, oh, man, really? You and your lousy hit with that X-Pulse. I'm thinking about splitting that up. Paramedium, uh, paramedium X-Pulses might do better. It's shorter range, but we'll see. All right, let's get into here. Now, is this within SRM range? It is. It's the same chance to hit, though. Let's just go with the Lerms, and we'll fire it all. So hoping that thing would be dead by now. Are they putting a minefield right where I want to go? Of course, why wouldn't they be? 
Well, we got two thumper turrets left. Maybe they'll hit that uh, urban mech. And we still got GV as well, so... But he's not going to be able to clear that distance, I don't think. And the Irby's got to go still. So maybe it's better if he doesn't clear that distance. I'm here. Um... Nope. Let's do it. Hold an ass. So make sure we leave this off. Uh, we just have incendiary, right? Yeah. Leave it on. Firing it. Okay, well, he's got a risk on there because it uh, just pulled his heat level down. was what there? Well, that guy's got to go. That was a rapier. Was that the rapier that fired? No. What's back there? I forgot to put the AMS on overload. They do have turrets. No, that's a vehicle. Maybe they don't have turrets. Yeah, it's about time you showed up. Okay, well he didn't fire. It's phase three. Light carrier. All right, we're not doing too bad. They got they arrive. They got five rounds before they arrive, or we've got five rounds before they arrive. That is. It's a little close, but I think we're okay here. We're gonna take the hill as opposed to going through that valley because I think there's a minefield down there. We got a little bit of cover here from the main base, so we don't have to worry about direct fire. Uh, let's burn this guy up. Um, uh, minefield on the, wow, they laid a minefield, that's what they did, the bastards. Where's the minefield? It's like all over here. Not to worry about it now. Screw you! Okay, let's get on this guy. Um, I'm going to multi-target this. I can't because this guy's got stealth. Uh, Alright, just shoot this guy. I want him to bail. I want to try and get as much salvage off that thing as I can. That was a leg hit, right? Yeah, beautiful. So we got a chance to pull that other leg. We used the Talos to do that. Now something... Leave that on overload. Uh, we got to go through them. Well, yeah, we don't have any jump jets, unfortunately. Let's get into here. That should bring the blackjack, I think, into a good range. Yeah, it's pretty good. We're going to use it on this guy. That's a lot of rifles. Let's fire. One hit. Oh, well. Oh, well. Wasn't really happy with those, um, the LBXs, but look at that, lasers. Jesus. 
I wasn't really happy with putting the LBXs on the um, the gauntlet, but I didn't have anything to keep the heat down, unfortunately. So it was either um, put those on or put more lasers on and try to load it down with double heat sinks. And it just, I didn't have the gear to do that. So the LBXs were it for now. We needed a little bit of extra long range firepower. We don't really have a lot. I mean, we do have the two LRMs on the, uh, um, God, the shadow, is it the shadow cat? Oh my God, yes, thank you. <laughs> so many mechs, so many names. And uh, we do have the uh, large LBX, or uh, the large uh, uh, X-Pulse on the uh, Talos, but we don't really, other than that, we don't really have a lo lot of long range firepower. So I figured a couple of uh, LBX-5s would uh, really help out at distance. But we need to get that uh, 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 targeting sensors on there. Okay, trebuchet. There we go. There we go. So far, so good. Yeah, getting that AMS working. 11 hits, beautiful, man. Somebody's having a rave over here. I'm just waiting for these lasers to spell out something. Like, go away. What's this guy back here? Arbiter. So they don't have too bad of mechs. It's Bessie. I'd give my right lug nut to work with Bessie. Ooh. Mitsuji. Uh, Ryu. 70 tons. Okay. Uh, I want to try and get through this minefield as fast as possible here. Okay. We'll do this. It's a bit chunky today. I'm not sure why the mechs moving are laggy. Everything else is fine. Ah, oh, man. We're probably going to blow this guy up if I do this. 38 left in the CT. I can't multi this guy, can I? Nope. Alright, well, let's go after A. Ouch, all 15 went down. Alright, well we hit him hard. Don't know where we hit him, but we hit him. This is going to be interesting. I'm actually to see if they're going to be able to land in five rounds. Don't tempt fate. We got to get an. We got to get one of their barrages on there within either th this next turn, I think, so we can land it again on turn one before they arrive next. Because we're all out of actions this turn. Nice. What are you doing? Nice. Beautiful. Waiting on you, Commander. Okay, uh Really good chances on this guy. Let's just go ahead and take them. Okay, that looked like two hits. And we're gonna move up into here. Gonna crest this hill in a second. Is this that's the Jenner? 10x. I can't remember what that guy's got. I think that's the two. Uh, I think he might have um, thunderbolts. Standing by. K 
Okay, I'm going to put the uh, Urban Mech between me and that other guy. And I'm going to leave these incendiaries off because they're just getting shot down. I want to save as much ammo as I can for later. So we're going to burn this guy. Beautiful. Yes. I was hoping that was going to happen. Ooh. They shot a lot down, but he got hit by a bunch. At least our Merrick brethren are cra are actually moving in to fight. That kind of shocked me. I thought they would just kind of hang out back there, but... That might mean if we can burn through like, a, like three or four more of these guys, we can let the next thing, the next wave drop in. See what we can get out of it. I don't think it's pr I don't think it's the best idea, but I'm just worried about the volume of guys back here right now. Like if we try and rush that base, we're gonna get shot by a lot of guys. I wonder if we can take it with two barrage hits. So maybe we use the barrages. Um, well we gotta use them this turn. I guess we can't use the one on the adder now. Try to use one this turn. And then it'll be back at around seven, which would mean that's one turn before the arrival. We might be able to, I might be able to do it. We'll see. Just want to make sure the barrages are hitting for the max damage here. Whole lot of nothing. Maybe we target this rapier then. We can wipe out this rapier and the other one, get rid of their AMSs. That's all this guy's doing is being an AMS friggin' shield for the uh for the Bessie. Protecting his significant other. Well, for him it's significant, for us Bessie's pretty insignificant. Yeah, pretty insignificant. What do you need? Uh, one risk is down. Let's get into here. Understood. Just walk it up, get our stability back. And we're going to switch this to... Um, gonna go with the dead fire because if any of them get through it'll do significant damage what do we hit oh pilot lethal damage oh <gasps> they shot down all the missiles but we still took his head off beautiful that's more than I could have ever hoped for these guys are nice and bunched I wonder if we get up on that hill and toast them if the Talos can get up there, we might be able to just shoot a shot right into here. That might be the best way to do it. I'll let those guys deal with him. Famous last words. Can I get up? Oh... Let's do this. And then it's a chance to hit 27. So I think we're going to go ahead and target the ground. Here comes a whole lot of fuck you. Engaging target. Yes. Did we get two of the vehicles or just one? I don't know. I think that's an extra lance. I know we got one of the vehicles, but I think we may have got this mortar technical as well. I hear you. Okay, buddy. Um,
God damn you and your minefields. That's a raptor. Can't let the arbiter get close. It's all mines here, is it? Well, if you go here, God, it's a tough choice. I want to just turn. But if I do that, then someone's going to get a back shot. Let's just turn for now so we can get out of here. I'm going to fire on this guy. Leave the rocket packs off, but we'll use everything else. See ya. Burns straight through that guy's side. If they had full armor, it would have been a different story, I think. Line holder. Yeah, we're not going to get any uh, missiles by these guys. But good thing is we got a chance to pick up a uh, laser AMS. Wow, such a low chance to hit. Okay. Let's move here. Get her back to the wall. On it. So that guy can't be a sneaky guy and get behind us. I'm gonna use our mediums on this guy, leave the lasers off or the uh, missiles off for now. All right, one hit, penetrated, nice. I think the Talos can follow that up. Still got GV too. I think we're going to use GV against the Jenner. He'll probably, well, you know what, we may, be, well, no. I was going to say we might run him over here, but there's an issue with that. It's all these friggin' minefields. Hopefully we, be, we go before this guy. Oh, these guys are nice and toasty. So we're probably okay for a turn. Maybe we'll get GV up here to hit them again. Yeah, he just sat there. No, I think we need to take this guy out. He's nice and toasty though, so maybe we sick GV on him. Arbiter. Puts you in a bad spot. That's not bad. Not a great chance to hit, though. Um, still, we're going to take it. Oh, that's a pretty good chance to hit. I'll take that back. Here it comes. Here it comes. Wow, terrible heat, but we put them over, so that's all that matters. Okay, we still got the Talos. Hopefully we can see the Jenner's back and we can do a fire maneuver, but oh, we'll see. I'd like to be able to shred that guy and then get into the trees here. Yeah, they must have had four lances in total. So rather than turrets, they had another another uh, rack of defenders. Three rounds. I don't know if we're going to beat that uh, that three rounds. This is a tough one because, I mean, there's no real way to... I mean, I guess you could try and go up this hill and around, but unless you have Artie, there's, like, no real way to get into that base without blasting through everybody, so... Gonna go ahead and do that. I mean, if we did do that, 
In this one with the mechs that they have, we might have been able to take our time and go around, but you never know until you get into battle whether you're going to be able to do that or not. Uh... Still see me, huh? Such a low chance to hit. Uh, that would just be a large X pulse, otherwise we're wasting ammo. Ah, uh, it's not worth it. Well, we can get the larger medium on this guy. And then pull back. Well, you know what? We've got to get rid of this guy over here. Let's get into here. Stay hidden from those guys over there. Just take a pot shot at this guy. I'm going to use the dead fire on him. Hopefully some of them get through. Oh, or the large X-Pulse gets through and kills him with one shot. Ouch! Did not see that coming, but I'll take it. What can I do for you? You know what you can do for me. I don't want this guy here anymore. Do you mind taking care of him? Yeah, critical hit. Yeah, oh baby. Now we got a minefield, but we're gonna get over here. Yes, thank you. Okay, we've cleared the front. Time to crest the hill and push these guys out of here. I think we got to kill this rapier first, though. Once he's down, yeah, you back up. Can't let that guy shoot either. All right, going to go after the rapier first. They're trying to kill him too, but you can't do it with missiles, guys. There's just no way. He's got a laser AMS. Forget it. That thing's not jamming. I got a text on my phone here, guys. Hang on one second. No, I don't. My phone just decided to activate itself for no damn reason. All right. I got to keep my eye on it because you never know. I may have some stuff to do for work, so. I mean, it is after work, but you never know, right? Oh, sucks to be you. Someone's about to die. I think, I think we're going to give it to her. Let's go for the clear line of sight. Heading out. Yeah, baby. It's all yours, girl. Oh. Uh, let's see if we can clear his head. Does it really matter? Okay, open season for missiles now, boys. Yes, about time. I don't think we're going to get to that base in two turns, which is fine by me. I mean, we've already got some really great salvage. Oh, you have to jump, eh? How far can you go? Everywhere you go is going to be a freaking minefield, buddy. Except for down here, of course. And that's where I'm going to put you. Let's just brace in here. Should be covered from these guys. This rock, I think, is in the way. Unless, of course, they move over. I think these guys have LRM-10s. Okay, he's behind the rock. Beautiful. Now we can crest. 
without having to worry too much. I don't know what that guy's got, but a 70 ton Mac, you don't really want to be messing around with that. Don't really want to be messing around with that. Alright, what do we got here? That's really good chances to hit. That could be a rocket pack shot. Arbiter, not bad. Raptor, not bad. But I think we... I, I'm not going to worry about the uh, rockets at this moment. I don't think we need them on this guy, but I'm going to save them because uh, I don't know what's landing next. You miss with the large. <sighs> Dude, you were a champion shooting that Jenner in the back at low chances to hit. Now you got a really great chance to hit and you can't hit anybody? I hear you. Oh shit, they're coming in right here. Uh, I got a phone call. Hang on a second, guys. And I'm back. All right, so we're going to move up here, I think. It's one round, eh? God. We got to position ourselves better. Let's get into here. This is going to be really bad. Oh, this is going to be bad. Let's make sure this trebuchet is dead. All right, firing everything on him. Okay, good shots. Lost evasive. We're not in a good position here. It's nice playing these maps when I don't know. You know, if I haven't played them before, I have no idea where the drop zones and stuff are. It's I like that unpredictability. When you've played them so often and you know what's going to happen, you know, you can kind of move to a position where you're ready for it. But with this one, it's like I had no idea this is where they're going to where they were going to be coming in. Um, yeah. Attacking from position. See ya. You're a murderer! Okay. Those two are in a good position. Alright buddy, you run out of targets now because we've killed everyone that you were in range for. Actually, this isn't bad. Ugh, let's not... Uh, let's keep ourselves turned this way. Hang on to that barrage still. Oof, terrible. Use the incendiary, might as well. Here it comes. Yeah, a little bit out of range. I don't want him to be standing where this Arbiter can actually just see him right now. Talos is going to move over and engage his Arbiter. He goes before us, but... No, he's already gone. He's already gone because he went on 19. And she went on 18. Which means I should be able to move to engage him. Although that Rapier is going to move out of there. Well, maybe. Oh, sorry, the Raptor. They're keeping their 70 tonner in reserve. I think I must have got that mortar technical. Because he's staying quiet. Oh, shit. That's not good. Okay, you're engaging the Arbiter. I think I'm going to engage that... Uh, the other guy. Terrible chance with the rockets. Can't stay here. Of course there's minefields in the way. Why wouldn't there be? Let's move down here for now. Getting closer to that base. Oof. That's a good chance to hit. That's even better. Uh, I'm going to do a multi-target. I want to see if we can clear some of these guys up. So we're going to... Hey, I said multi-target. You. Oh, I, I can't because they're both stealth. Damn it! They're all three of them are stealth. Of course. Let's just, well, should I use a rocket pack? 
No, I want to save it for the Mitsubishi. Let's just fire on this guy. Sorry, the Tamaguchi, whatever it is. I'll get it right. Mitsuguri? Did I get it? I got it wrong again, I think. Hang on a second. More Castilian units on the field. The facility is still standing. Yeah, I know. Mitsuguri. Prowler. Ostrock. Okay. So far, nothing that's too terrible. A Balrog. Balrog. A demon of the ancient world. And a crab. God. Who do we want to kill? It's pretty much... It's a freaking free-for-all. Did we split fire? No, I think we got to go all out. Or we're not going to get the kill. We're going to be scattershotting it. Uh, let's just shred this crab. Yeah, good thing we did that. He's not even dead. His NSS is gone though, which is a bonus. You need to move a little bit. Let's get into here. Stay in cover. Those guys aren't even engaging. It's like you're not even on my team. All right, GV. Hardcore, you know the score, buddy. Hardcore, you know the score. I think we've had enough of this battle. Yeesh. Well, that'll spread it out a little bit. Uh, let's leave these off. Fire everything else, though. Did we get all of them? No, we've got one. Don't shoot that guy. Shoot one of the other guys. Come on. All right, let's not let the other guy see us. Let's turn, and we're gonna do a multi-target. We're gonna shoot this guy, and we're gonna shoot this guy. B will take the uh, LB axis. Do I wanna use the rockets? Might as well use them now. Although we get a better shot on A. I think the medium X pulses should be enough though. Let's go this route. Nope. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. Oh, he's gonna take it, but he ain't gonna like it. Missile, yeah, you keep that guy engaged. So how many more turns? We got four more rounds before the next wave. We should be we should be able to clear this in four, I think. I think. Well, you know what thought did, right? <laughs> My dad always said that. You know what you, you know what thought did, right? Thought he farted, but he crapped himself. Except not crap. You know you know what I'm saying. But he shit himself. All right. Oh, terrible chance to hit. We want to use the barrage against the buildings back there? I think we do. Uh, yeah, let's just go on this guy. Oh, was that a headshot? There it is, pilot lethal damage. 
you know, there's those times when I want to remove that large X pulse and putting something else on, but then there's moments like that where you're like, yeah, you know, sometimes it's worth just keeping it. Yep, that was a nice, that's two headshots this battle. That's like super rare, man. We weren't even aiming for heads either. All right, that's it for us. What do we got back here moving still? We've done some significant damage to them. As an offensive force, they just don't have it anymore. Phase one. We haven't even needed our turrets yet. Who's that? What? What? They just dropped new guys in? You cheeky motherfuckers. They just dropped new guys in. Those cheeky bastards. Yeah, that guy's uh, taking a lot of punishment. Gonna leave you over here. We gotta engage these guys. Just when I thought when things were going good, they somehow got an extra lance of guys in. Like, what the hell? Yep. These guys are just gonna fuck with us. Uh, do we watch the... I don't know. Guess we better. I guess we better. Okay, what is this? Warrior, the Balrog, Prowler, Ostrock, TBM-5 carrier, of course. Of course it's a TBM-5 carrier. What else would it be? Really bad chances to hit, because I guess they just arrived. No idea what the Prowler's got. No idea what the Balrog's got. 448 armor. This guy could go down pretty quick. Ostrock is severely damaged. We could probably remove him. Let's do a multi-target. We're going to shoot the Ostrock. And let's go after the Prowler. Um, <laughs> yeah. Let's go this route. I don't even care that our griffin is standing there. I don't even care that it's there. This is a good fight. I like this. By. They don't have turrets, GV. Let's, uh... Let's engage this fucker. Heading out. Full speed. He's made of wood. Plus 96 heat. That's beautiful. Enjoy it, buddy. Where are you going? Uh, take it back. At least you're shooting somebody. He's overheated, but whatever. I gotta get my barrage on this base. Gonna do that this turn. Then we're gonna go after that uh, Mits... God, I'm gonna get this name right. Is it Mitsurugi? 
Mitsuri Mitsuru it could be Mitsurugi. That would be G G I. Mitsuru Mitsuru G. Please somebody cor correct me if you can. <laughs> Please. You all know my pronunciation is terrible, so I apologize for butchering the language. It's not that I don't like Japanese. I love the Japanese language. And this is going to sound ridiculous, but I, I watch anime all the time. And I watch it in the original Japanese with subtitles. Because it's so much better. Right? But to pronounce it, I'm, I'm horrible. Even I'm terrible at pronunciating. Pronunciating. <laughs> I'm terrible at pronunciating English words, too. <laughs> I'm terrible with my pronunciation. So I apologize. I apologize to everybody for pronunciation, but... Which is why I say, rather than cicada, it's cicada, things like that, right? Oh, man. Oh, you're going for the base. Or are you? Yeah, well. Once he crests that hill and receives full uh, appreciation of the turrets... Yeah, let him get a lock on you. As long as he's not shooting anybody. I have no idea what that guy has either. Oh man, we have to go after those guys. I don't think our defenders are going to do it. Alright, let's just walk it down here. Two missile and an energy. I wonder what this guy's got. Besides a whole lot of flames. Firing on rear arc. Maybe we can get him to bail. Oh, he's got an XL engine. Don't do it, guys. I was forced into it. I was forced into it in the uh, gauntlet. But don't do it. Just don't do it. It's not worth the death. Uh... Forty-seven. Thirty-two. There's a hunter down there. Thirty-two. Or forty-four, sorry. Um, I can't use that against Choppas, so we can use it against the other guy, though. Yep, we can do that. Here it comes. Yes. Stay at their backsides here. I don't care. I don't care that we're hitting our own guys, because they've hit me plenty of times. He's shooting his own guy. You know, it might be worth them looking into, like, cause they, you can have a chopper on the same hex as you. Well, that was a head hit. Beautiful. Oh, that was an overheated pilot injury. Interesting. Um, you can have a, you should be able to have a vehicle on the same hex as you as well, cause vehicles are really small compared to Max, right? You should be able to. Oh shit! Somebody get on that guy! Christ's sake! Are those turrets even functioning? They didn't get an extra lance. This match would be over. Okay, we're going to have to send a witness back. Or not witness. Uh, Arclight back there to help witness. They had 320 each, eh? That guy had 480, 320. Uh, let's do this. So A is going to take these two. B will take the dead fire. And C will take the rocket pack. So let's see if we can deal the death blow to these buildings. There's the first one. There's the second one. 
There's the third one. Beautiful. Oh, we ain't going anywhere. We got some payback. We got payback still. Okay, give me a second so I can move here. Wow, allow me to do vigilance, eh? There we go. Let's get up here. We got to get around and help GV. He's fighting two mechs by himself down there. He's fighting two mechs by himself. Close the gap and shred these guys, please. Let's uh, not use some Hydra. Yeah, I really liking these MMLs. I tell you, like I said in the last episode, this at this weight weight uh, at this weight class for battling, it's like they're really great weapons. This is really terrible chance to hit. This is a really great chance to hit. So let's split these up. A and B, going to overheat a little bit, but I'm okay with that. Those two can go to B and everything else will go to A. Let's see how we do. Yeah. Two nice hits. Oh, yes. Excellent. One more for the scrap Let's clean them up, people. Yeah, you're okay. Gonna leave the lasers off next turn and be hitting this guy over here with the, lar the long range missiles. What are our guys doing? When all this is happening? Besides nothing. The turrets are completely silent. That happened to us before too, didn't it? Where the base's turrets did nothing. It happened in infiltration. Well, we're doing okay. I mean, they've got two guys at the back here, two guys at the front. with that base dead, hopefully their mechs will turn around and start firing at these guys. Yeah, maybe I'm a Chinese jet pilot. I think we may have to send, well, I don't know. I was going to say we may have to send GV back and let uh, our Farazon take on these two guys. But I really want that guy to eject. I want to see what he's got. Waiting on you, Commander. Um, can you get around to see that prowler? You can. Let's do that. We got to close the gap. Got to get in there fast. Let's see if we can shred this guy. Yes, nicely done. I feel bad about shooting the little guys. Why? They're shooting you. Yeah, squash them. Yes, thank you. Now get the guys that just passed by you. Yep. Confirmed. Okay, switching this over to LRMs. Come on. Buttons are very low in the response here. Um, let's fire some Hydra. I don't know if it's going to do any good, but... Oh, yeah, a little bit of damage. I want to know how that Hydra... Why is it, does it do so much damage? I guess it's a splash. Unlike incendiary, the, mi the missile's got a hit, but I guess these are like splash, I don't know, splash weapons, whatever. I'm really going to have to limit my use. Of I don't know how it's going to work in Osmium, but I was going to say I was going to have to limit my use of that stuff. I'm not sure if it's that OP. 
in us. I mean, if, if it is, you know, maybe click, carry like a half ton on a mech with an LRM-10 or something and use it just in case of emergency or whatever. Don't worry, I'll, I'll get him off your back, buddy. I'll get him off your back. At least we get to shoot at the backsides of these guys. Oof. Good thing they're not focused firing a building. Come on, bail out. Was that another head hit? Looked like it was another head hit. Come on, decide what you're doing. I want to go see. No idea. Let's not stay behind him or we'll blow him up. We want him to bail out. So let's roast this skinny little ass. Here it comes. It's going to hang in there. Muramasa, what's that? Ooh, I can't engage the raptor, really? Well, we can see if we can pull the leg off this guy, though. He is shut down, after all. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I'm gonna leave this off because I don't want to, like, just completely wreck him. That looked like two-leggeds to me. What happened? Pilot incapacitated. Oh, beautiful. He probably took the leg off and he fell and then came incapacitated because I think he took he took several heat hits that guy's all yours buddy you're either gonna be a hero or the crowd's gonna be throwing tomatoes at you tomatoes it is Another hit like that, you're toast. you should have been toast this turn in with it we're in with we're within SRM range on this guy, which is beautiful. Let's get him. Get him, get him, get him. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Here it comes. Oh, they're still going. <laughs> yeah, well, let's hope these guys can finish up your attack. But probably not. Oh. Well, at least they're trying. Pulse laser hit. A lot of missiles hit. Beautiful. That's a lot of track propulsion crits. And it's still going. That's the crazy thing. It's got no propulsion left. But it's on ice, so it, and it was moving fast, so it should skid right across the ice and land over here. All the wheels would be over here and over there. Oh, the bogey wheels. Yeah, you're next, buddy. You're next. Good thing I used my rocket packs already. Yes, commander. Guy didn't move. Roast him. I should just back up and use the barrage on him, but I'm not totally evil. Well, I am, but against the enemies I am. Just back up a little bit. Come on, what do we got going on? So we're on turn 12. That's actually not bad. Beautiful. Good shooting, man. Just don't melt down. Nope, not quite enough. Good shoot. Well, he sh just blew up, though. We didn't even get to see it. That guy's got balls. Where is he? That's what you get for running the red line, dude. Yeah, he's not dead. He just lost an arm, did he? Looked like he did. Yeah, his whole torso went up. Oof. Heat sinks. Get him. Use him. Okay. <laughs> Gonna go with the dead fire. See if it actually hits. Ooh, that was a face shot. No? 
Center torso. Did we not fire the missiles or did he shoot them all down? I don't think we shot any missiles. What the heck? Uh, here we go. Alright, witness. I hear you. Like I said, hero or tomatoes. You got tomatoes last turn. Right, hero this turn. Nice. Okay. One mech left. One mech to go. Well fought. Wonder if we could have done it without this second lance. If if we if if these turrets were functioning and these this lance wasn't here, we could have probably done it. If we didn't have the turrets and we didn't have the lance, we would probably be fighting everything. Probably. I'm ready. Give it to him. Pair of his ER mediums are gone. Just get up here. On my way. Hopefully he can't get behind you. Not that we're going to give him the opportunity to anyway. Don't get over here and sponge off my kills. You in LRM range? Oh, we got two jams. Two jams. Oh, well. It's going to give her the shot at killing it. Yeah, see, I switched this but didn't turn it on. This guy's dead. Target. Yeah. See ya. There it is, folks. Enemy Destroyed. We get six, six pieces of salvage that we can choose. Let's go see what we can get. All right, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 percent increase. That's good. That's going to easily pay for any damages we took. Don't think we lost any components. Look at the kills. The adder didn't get any kills, but he sure as hell did a great job keeping everybody, well, people tied up. But look at that. That's that's what I like to see. Relatively evenly distrib distributed. This guy, okay, no big deal. I don't really, wasn't really expecting much from him since he's just got all flamers, but that's pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. Alright, gear. See what we can get out of this. That's what I'm interested in. Okay, I'm going to circumvent all of the mech parts unless there is the... We could just go ahead and put one of these together now, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, it's not a risk of a mech. Oh well. Alright, how much we can do about that. Alright, so... Gear-wise, heavy flamers... Pirated heavy flamers. 33% range. Is that an increase in range? 15% misfire chance. Damage falls off to 35%. Well, well, don't think we need the extra range. A light AC5. 35 damage, 4 heat, 5 tons. I'm better off with the LBXs which are six tons. I think the heat on those is like eight or nine or something like that for 45 damage. So one ton gives us extra damage plus more range. So that's not worth it. Uh, medium pulses, mortars. One of the things I haven't got into is mortars. I should try and try, I'm gonna try this out in the next series. They've got good range, they're indirect and they can't be shot down, right? Because they're not missiles. So it's a possibility for the next next series. MRM 20. 7 tons. We do have MRM ammo. That's a possibility for the uh, gauntlet. Rotary AC2. So this was what was on the um, urban mech. Pirate rotary autocannon. Recoil of three, 12 tons. Little heavy for what we have. Pair of snub nose PPCs. This is good for the Talos too. 
a pair of these things. Well, although it's 70 heat, we'd have to add a bunch of heat sinks, but nice heavy punchy damage and then round them off with some lighter weaponry, like some missiles or something. We'll see here. What else do we got? Thunderbolt. Yeah, they're fives though. Thunderbolt missile. It's a single shot, I think, isn't it? One ton single shot missile. 630 meters. A lot of stuff here, man. Composite armor. Just lowers the weight, unfortunately. DNI cockpit. I never turn these things on, so they're really not worth me using them. I don't know. Let me let me think about that. Endo TSM. Are you serious? So the structure weight goes down. Activates above 40 heat. Plus 40% melee damage when activate. Look at that. Let me guess that was on the Arbiter. Or maybe that was on the 70 tonner. Structure weight change. But if, how are we going to activate this on the trebuchet? How are we going to get that heat up? That's the tricky thing. Going to drop it in for now. Let me think about that. Getting that heat up is the tricky part. Exchanger. Light engines are nice. They're cheap, way cheaper to put in. That's the one thing. Let me just think about that for a second. Guardian ECMs, double gyro, de double defense. Wow. What's that going to go in though? That could go in the melee mech. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Extra light gyro. That's definitely worth taking. And my mouse, I've lost control of it now. Because, of course, I have. Come on. There you go. I'm going to put that there for now. Uh, that's a lot of single heat sinks. Guess what we're getting this friggin' roll off, guys? Prototype double heat sink kit. Um, prototype double heat sinks. They're all in singles. We've got three already. Oh man, there's so many things I want. Retractable blade. You need a melee hand actuator. Problem with the trebuchet is it's only got one hand, so I'm only, I can only use one thing. And we have the axe right now for that. So uh, this would be useless at this point. Uh... It's getting tougher and tougher to find a uh, mech with two hands for me anyway. Upper recoil. That's good if we get a heavy mounted autocannon. I'm going to drop it there for now just to see. Now we're in ammo. MRM and incendiary ammo. That's a possibility. We could go with the MRM-20 and the incendiary ammo, plus we got the regular ammo. Could pull out the rocket packs. Well, we didn't take the light PPCs, though. Oh, man. How often are we going to see this stuff, though? That's the thing, right? Leave that out for now. Like, how often are we going to see these two? Not very often. Because even in infiltration, we still haven't seen them. There's only four parts of this, too, so it's not like we can actually put one together. Uh, Oh, there's so much stuff here. I know, right? Should or get off the pot. Make a choice. We could go this route. This is an we can use this instantly. 
These are definitely good for a melee mech for future. This we can use. This we can use. Yeah, let's go this route. All right, Bessie part one, trebuchet part two, arbiter parts, rapier and raptor part. Oh, we got three flamers. We got backup flamers, medium rifle. Wow, periphery rifles, the tagger. So that's actually pretty good. It does a little bit of damage when it tags. A couple of cores. Fire control system improved. One heat sink. A good thing we only got one of them. Jump jet improved. Stealth X. Narc beacon ammo. Well, could have been a lot better. You know, if you wanted to get through one of those missions really quickly, and you had like four mechs and lots of arrow systems, you could have like four mechs with double arrows each, and just move to where your extraction point is, and just fire the arrows into their base the entire mission, just stay behind hills, and then just extract right when you're done. That would probably be an easy way to do it, but... Who wants to have four arrow mechs with two arrow systems each kicking around? Unless you got a lot of a lot of mechs with nothing to do. Alright, so I am going to end this episode here, guys, and I am going to work on getting the um, the gauntlet and the trebuchet updated with the new gear we have. Um, the gauntlet didn't do too bad. I mean I I don't mind that mix of long range and short range uh, weapons on this thing. Didn't do, didn't do too badly at all. I'm going to see what I can do with the MRM now that we've got it. Um, because that's a that's a good replacement, I think, for one of the uh, LBXs. But let me, th uh, let me think. I'm going to mess around with it a bit, see what we can get out of it. All right? So I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.